temperature, but how you been? Good. So tell me, tell me about this Impact Festival. What is happening? Hmm. Nothing yet, because it's still June 29th, but I can tell you what is being created to happen. Yes. Uh, well, let's put it this way. Um, when COVID hit, um, there was a global sort of spiritual community thing that unified through on. I remember it, it had um, some of the biggest, you know, spiritual leaders and, and some of these real, real uh, guru-esque influential folks. And, and I think there was many, many thousands, if not tens or hundreds of thousands of people that joined for that Facebook Live and that Zoom. I know I did and I teared up. I think it lasted for four or five hours. Actually, no, it was like a 12 hour experience that went on into the night. And long story short, it, it, it altered me a bit. And I saw, wow, this is what happens when the world one is in crisis. And two, when the world, or at least a group of the world comes together to admit we have no idea what the hell we're doing or what to do. But if we bring our energy together, it can go better than as if not. That was the experience I had on that global unified Zoom. What's happening in Impact feels to be very similar. It might be bigger based on the predictions of the core team. Um, we're talking about a, a summer, it's a July 2020. So a summertime festival done online, um, bringing digital dance music and then transformational workshops together for a four day event. There's the basis of it, but we'll spend some time getting into that. So who do you have lined up? Who's, who's, who's coming? Mm. So I'm, I'm, when I look below, I'm looking at my laptop. And what I'm in the middle of is, is reaching out to these folks to um, confirm their marketing materials and photos. So who's coming? Um, we still got a few slots open for some of the more famous folks, the names that when they're heard, people go, oh, of course, that guy or that girl. Um, but from Vancouver, we have people like Satyan, uh, Deidre. I've got uh, Vortex Strategies. Karen McGregor, Ridgely Goldsboro, he's from um, Florida. We have uh, the Earth Charter Group doing a few workshops. Um, they're part of a, what I believe is a global movement to sort of rewrite how human society is structured. We have a few workshops from the Unify Group, which is transforming you know, how people do culture in the world. Now I've got Michael Stone from the um, Sunshine Coast, originally from, um, he's from Nevada City, California. He's, he's quite a renowned uh, speaker on mysticism and oneness. Uh, Tyson Sharp from the East Coast, uh, who speaks on, um, you know, building business from the heart. I got Matt Helm from the East Coast. Matt specializes in what he calls sacred activism. Uh, the list could go on, but cool. there's a bunch. Yeah, just keep, tell me. Sure, I'm happy to. So a woman named Anna Gatt from Victoria, who does uh, pranayama, sacred yoga, sacred breathing. Uh, I have two women coming um, on the Zoom sometime that weekend to teach on what they would call parenting, um, helping re reconnect parents with their kids and kids with their parents, sort of healing those wounds that often cause teenagers to sort of shoot out into the, the wild, wild west of the world and sometimes be lost and uh, end up living an unhealthy life, an unhealthy legacy. So there's some parenting stuff. That's by Nola Peacock. And we have um, Laura, sorry, Lori Cowling. She's from Cal Cal Calgary. Um, a fellow named Surrender Baines or Mr. Happy is sort of his professional name. He lives in Vancouver. He's a global speaker on, um, he speaks on career counseling and career coaching for young people, helping people get into um, it's always more than I can say here, but let's put it this way is like helping people get into a mindset of heart and importance and rewriting for young people, the story that we, I call myself young, you know, that we carry about careers and discipline and this thing we avoid. So we avoid responsibility because the idea of a career has such a, a tainted feel to it for a lot of young people. They don't want to be near that, but because of that fear of the concept of a career, they, they miss out on, on what could be a very fulfilling career. They just don't realize that a career, a superhero is a, could be a career. You know, there's careers that are 
super transformational. You just happen to make lots of money and you spend 10 years doing it. That's what you call it. That's what I would call a career. We got Tim Steinrock. He's from Vancouver. He's doing two performances. One of them is a um, four basic daily principles to manifest whatever the hell you want. And he's a powerful speaker, great guy, big heart. But he's also on Sunday at the event. He's throwing a, um, he's doing a sound healing experience for people. And it's very deep. I got to, to be part of one in a live event years ago or months ago, I should say. And, and it was very compelling, very astro travel compelling. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, we got Michelle Bellinger and Travis Bellinger, a couple from Alberta, Canada. They're going to be speaking on men and women's empowerment, obviously, respectively, and what it was like for them to be in, you know, she was in the corporate world. Uh, he was working in the, um, he built a business doing, um, what was it now? Very tradesy um, welding. Yeah, I built a huge welding company. And in his 50s now, he's, he's found his heart. Still has his company, but he's empowering men to be, you know, great, great men. Karen McGregor, I mentioned from Vancouver, she's going to be talking about the, um, the wisdom of Tao and how to bring that Tao wisdom into influence so that people around the world watching this event can learn to expand their influence from a, a true nature perspective. Hey, I, I want to ask you a question. You bring together these amazing speakers from all across the world. Uh, you want to make an impact. What, what, is, what do you see different about what you're offering to the people of the world? What is going to be unique about this? Hmm. Um, the first answer is a selfish one, um, but it's really what's there coming out first for me, which is, it's, it's me. It's going to be the, the capacity of um, my hosting skills, the capacity of that facilitation for four days to weave together these energies and these human souls in, in project that and get people connected to what that really could be for them in their communities. I believe that's going to be one difference. That's a huge difference. I mean, it seems to me that right now that humanity is, is in this, like, it just shut down. Everything stops. No one's going to the festivals. An impact festival was a, 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 a confluence of all these amazing people coming together to try to, not try, to, to bring together a new paradigm. And you are in the seat of the workshops, which is essentially the transformational vehicle to bring people from where they are to where they want to go. And you are now bringing them in online, in Zoom, to a whole world not just a little festival now, now you're projecting to the whole world. So I'm just wondering, how are you getting the word out there to all the other uh, festivals and all the other places that may, to the people that, that want to get this information? How are you gonna do that? So just a few hours ago, I was on a team call. We do every Saturday at two. And so luckily the answer to your question for me is, I'm not doing it, <laughs> not by myself, that's for sure, not even close. There's a large team of marketing people, sales people, promotion people, social media people, um, the impact team. We use an online platform to communicate and have multiple meetings per week. But here's the answer to your question. Um, every way possible. Every way possible. One, partnering with global organizations who have massive email list followings, getting this event blasted out to those audiences you know that's 10 million plus alone just from a few partnerships we have and then what's going to happen is it's a it's an appetizing uh, event you know this is going to be a great event for like you said while the world's shut down people have a craving for this kind of experience so people will naturally share it with their friends and that's how it's going to get to many people the impact team the has a bunch of young folks they're amazing they're pros at using the language of propagation the language of share it and share it hard and get people to share it because that's how the word gets out about things. A few more examples on the DJ side of things, because there'll be music stages. Um, there's going to be some big name DJs who have multi-million person lists. And uh, one fellow here, I'm going to name him. Oh, I don't have his name. You'll find out soon, but he's a YouTube star. Okay. This is, I'm still catching up to the YouTube thing because I'm 31, but no matter what, He's a YouTube star with like 300 million views, one of these guys. And he's actually going to do a workshop at 9.30 a.m. on the Thursday, July 16th, as the very opener of this whole thing. And I believe his 30-minute shtick is, 
how to get this festival out to as many human beings as possible as the four days happen. Right. So leverage like that. Wow. Um, the list goes on, but basically pushing the pushing the sharing of it. Okay, so that's pretty exciting for you to to to. to how are you weaving the different threads of the workshops? Like, what's your structure? Wow. Well, there's a few answers to that. Um, the basic structure is a you know simple schedule calendar with here's the times, here's the slots, but put the people's names in it. But coming from a, a deep seated intuition when placing different workshop facilitators in different slots, knowing that this will lead to this and this will lead to this and, and feeling, and I've been to, you know, I've been to six Burning Man's and 150 other festivals. So I've got a pretty keen sense of how to build energies and put the Lego bricks together. And so that's the first step is just a good structured schedule. Uh, the second bit is what I'd call um, limitless confidence. And that's a human trait. It's also a, it's a, it's a, I call it a spiritual decision. You know, that it's like in any moment, I, I, I will be calling on spirit or that life force that is creator to guide the whole thing, you know, or we'll do a tandem either way. That's how I know it's going to be threaded so well is, is it's, it's not going to be just Matthew's brain at all. That'll be 5%. The rest will be the magic and and but that's where the confidence comes in when things go wrong they're actually going righter than i thought they could have and learning how to how to navigate that river of of the natural evolution it's fantastic it, it just sounds as if this impact festival has transformed from a physical into the uh newest sphere and that you're 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 going to bring the world to british columbia in a sense Mm -hmm. And I, I want to congratulate you on what you're doing, and I know you are at the you have your your hand on the on the pulse of the planet, and your team is bringing together all of the human beings that want to move into the new paradigm. And so I, I just I, I salute you, and uh, I, I will uh, load this video up and send it through my little network of people, and hopefully all of us together are going to make this as big as it can be. So very, very, very uh, good salutations to you, Mr. Matthew Learning. You are doing excellent work. Thank you, Elijah. Captain Sweet, it's always a pleasure. Um, just one thing. I'm wondering, is there any, because I'm going to go in the field soon, and, I, and my, my main thing is old growth forest trees. And I, I want to, I'm starting an old growth forest tree web TV show looking at you know planetary guardians and we're, we want to do web TV shows specific to the issues of the planet and looking at that we need a web TV show specific to every issue that we are facing and so that we can actually use media for the good of the people and I'm just wondering is there any way that we could get some leverage within what you're doing regarding that hmm. mm, the instinctive answer is yeah you know the instinctive answer is like, why not? I, I think like, I know I've got, uh, what is it? Friday at seven or something like that. I got a slot. Um, yeah, seven or eight o'clock on the Friday. Yep. Uh, eight o'clock, Elijah. Hey, do you have like, is Ramayan at nine? And then do you have the 10 o'clock filled or not? We don't have a 10 o'clock. We're just going to nine. You're not going to 10 o'clock at all. Could you put Jordan Stillman in there? Yeah, maybe. I'll put it in because we don't. Let's do it. I'll put a name in there, but we'll see what happens. And we'll connect about who Jordan Stillman is. Okay, I'm uh, just saying that he's, he's got some beautiful stuff coming in. And he's he's a natural uh, uh, follower. Like what Ryan's bringing in, and Jordan just dovetails right into that. Interesting. Do you want to share for a moment what, what his content is? Well, he, he's very... Uh, He's, a, he's an architect. He's a media architect. And uh, kind of like I got the inflow matrix, he's kind of got the outflow matrix. He's got a framing system of bringing together uh, contextual whams, he calls them. It, it's just like he's, he's more into the aesthetic, the sensing, the, 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 the movement between, like, let's say you had 27 different shows and you were a character in all these shows and all these shows started interacting with one another. We're entering into a multi-dimensional video space 
right? Where all these storylines are, are, are going in all these different directions. We're, we're, we're leaving that one linear plot line into multi-dimensional plot lines. And what he has is an incredible architecture for that. So he's, uh, you would love Jordan. He's really got something that you two would connect beautifully, I think. So what I got out of that is, um, got to meet Jordan Stillman and, and uh, you know, keep it between us and whoever watches the video. So it's not official, but maybe we open up uh, the 10 o'clock slot every night and just get a few more in there. Okay, I think that's good because I think, you know, I think for the people that are watching and go through your whole workshop online, I mean, what you want is a whole world to kind of go through this whole weekend, right? Just glue themselves to the laptop and dive into this transformational experience. And this is going to be like the first time it's ever been done, right? I mean, you guys are doing something that's very, very unique, I think. Yeah. Yeah, no, I sense that. I sense that. This is good. Okay. Okay. Well, I know you're very busy and you got lots to do. And uh, I will uh, pop this up. And uh, I'm looking forward greatly to participating in this, in this event. And... Um, Thanks for checking in with me, Mr. Matthew. My pleasure. You know, I look behind you, Elijah, at the uh, at the Earth. I see your background there, uh -huh. and I see all the people plugging in. And and Impact Fest is is, is one of so many um, <clears throat> epicenters of of I'll call it divine connection. You know, but but let's call it connection for the lack of you know keep it simple. Um, and you, my friend, are a huge part of this. You are the communication maestro, in my opinion. And I say that honestly, authentically. And, and I say that forecastingly of, of what's probably, I believe, to come in the next 20 years or maybe two years. I don't know. But I'm glad you have that background. It suits you well. And it, it gets me excited for what we're all about here. Well, I just know that there's a huge, there's, there's huge positive things coming for our species. And you and your team and James and all the others are, are beautiful souls that are doing beautiful work for the whole species with the highest intent, with the greatest purpose. And you have my full energetic support and my full, I, I just honor what you're doing, all of you. And I, I, I did participate and I am participating to some degree. And I just got to go into the force though that I'm sort of, you know, each of us has kind of got to do what we got to do. And I, 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 I uh, I just want you guys to know that I'm fully behind you. I love you all. You guys are amazing. You are amazing. And uh, this festival is going to like be a flashpoint for the whole species. I, I know it. I know it. I know it. It is so. Wonderful. Mm. Let's talk soon. We'll stay in touch, my friend. All right. See you.